So Inge Lehmann's discovery came in the 1936, in the same decade in which the, a discovery of Pluto was made. But instead of taking telescopes and turning them towards the sky, she took a seismograph and in the mode of a telescope, she turned it towards the center of the planet where she discovered the existence of the inner shell uh, in the center of the planet. One of the amazing things about Inge Lehmann is that she wasn't looking for the inner core but she was very open in looking at the data. She saw some extra wiggles, some extra vibrations, which were reflections from the inner core. So a lot of fundamental properties of the Earth can be better understood. We really know what's going on inside the core. Inge Lehmann's discovery provided a basis for a later understanding of how the Earth's magnetic field is generated. And without that magnetic field on the Earth's surface, life would be impossible because it protects us from harmful cosmic radiation. Because of Inge Lehmann's discovery of solid inner core, we can study the connection between the deep interior and the surface where we live. Today we're hoping to peer into the core of Mars as well. As we look to the future, we start exploring other planets. Um, a seismometer has just landed on, on Mars, and we will only have a few recordings, just like in the Lehman. We'll have to use the same very simple techniques she used and start making the big discoveries that she made about the Earth. Does, the, does Mars have a core? Is there a fluid or a solid in a core? We'll have to make just those same discoveries with just the same simple techniques. For somebody like Inga Lehman, a lot of that was memorized. She had the things that we would find on our computers today locked away in her head, ready to use at a moment's notice. So recently, my team has presented uh, the evidence of uh, shear waves uh, in the inner core, uh, which uh, presents the proof that the inner core is solid that we have been looking for. And that concludes uh, an 80 year long quest uh, that started with uh, Inge Lehmann's discovery. One of the true pioneers of uh, our science, uh, seismology. She found the needle in the haystack. I think we have to take her as an example. She was a remarkable scientist.